Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your love reading for the next 24 hours or so. Um, if you would like to get a personal reading, you guys, you can click the link in the description box below. This reading is for all Virgos, so welcome to my channel. And if you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. How are you guys doing? Um, yesterday we had like some major storms going on, um, but I did not get swept away with the wind, so I'm back. All right, let's take a look at the energy of the person you may be connecting with, past, present, and future. Um, let's see here. Okay. So, wow, Virgo, you're showing up right here in the middle of your reading. Good. That tells me for you, Virgo, the focus is on you, which is awesome. As usual, as you, you always have the focus on yourself, Virgo. Um, so let's see here. What are the love messages? So we also have Gemini. So some of you could be connecting with a Gemini. Okay, let's take a look and see what the past love messages are here for you, Virgo. Okay, trust. The situation is calling for your person to have faith, okay? And let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others, okay? So your person in the past spending um, or seeking advice of some sort from friends and really, I feel like they were trying to have some faith in their friends or this person, maybe you guys were friends and they were uh, asking for your help in the past, okay? Trying to be more open, trying to have faith in a connection. Looks really good in the past energy. So, I mean, you guys could have... If you're not together now, it could have been good at one point and then just kind of faded away. Um, I don't really know specifically your story, but let's take a look and see what energy I'm picking up here. Ten of Pentacles, uh, real estate for some, leaving a legacy. In a love reading, your person was seeking security and safety in a connection with you. And it looks like they were... It kind of feels like the atmosphere was conducive in the past for making big offers or making some kind of big offer and trying to manifest something with you in the past. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's take a look at this. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Four of Pentacles. Wow. Your person very much might have been a bit obsessed with you or... Um, holding on tightly but having some blocked energy as well that four the fours are always about structure and foundations planning um, and stable situations a lot of pentacle energy here so it seems like in the past your person's primary focus was finances money and the physical things physical tangible things okay but i also feel like hmm for some of you, this person, it just, I'm just getting this, this thing about greed, like a sense of like what they wanted, what they needed, you know, they, they're, they might've been very greedy with you. Okay. Maybe like with you, it was like you, they just wanted you. They were just holding on to you for that sense of security and stability. Okay, uh, let's take a look at this Ace of Pentacles. Wow, Queen of Pentacles again. And then the Magician with the Sun. So some of you could have been dealing with a Leo or, yeah, Leo um, or a Virgo, Taurus or a Capricorn. It just kind of feels to me like this person's intentions was were to give you um, to create a, an opportunity to invest in you because it, from their point of view, looking at you, you are very stable, very nourishing, um, like resourceful, someone they could count on. You were very 
you know, practical, maybe domesticated, maybe you cooked for them or cleaned from the, for them or served them in many different ways. And I feel like in the past, your person just knew that about you and they wanted to hold on to you um, and didn't want to loop. But there's no cup energy. So there's a lack of, um, you know, even in these romance cards, it feels like Virgo, you provided someone they could count on in the past, okay? And they want they were holding on to you in one way or another. They weren't. <clears throat> they had no intentions of letting you go. But were they intending to further the relationship? I mean, the magician is here, so that is kind of being like inspired because you bring or brought in the past so much positivity to them. You also gave this person unconditional love. Um, you were kind of like a bright light in this person's life, you know? Um, you made them feel successful. You made them feel like they could manifest things in their, li their lives or their life that they could, you know, make things happen. So I feel, Virgo, that in the past, this is how you, this person, you know, viewed you, saw you, thought of you, felt about you. Very strong. You have very strong presence in this person's life, okay? And I feel like uh, for this trust card to come up here, the situation is calling for this person to have faith. There might have been some trust issues, hence the reason for some possessiveness with the four of pentacles or that need to hold on but the friend thing too virgo i have to tell you this person they were seeking your support you were providing some kind of support for this person in a friend way okay and they saw you as a friend and maybe you wanted something more um but it doesn't seem like this it seems like they viewed you more as like a friendship. For some of you, maybe it was a friends with benefits. I know a lot of you don't go down that road, but somebody may have. Um, but they kept seeking your support because you brought stability and you were a friend and you kept them grounded, okay? Um, and they did trust you to provide those things for them, okay? Um, which, you know, Virgo, you are a good friend. You are a strong, stable force in anybody's life, okay? Um, and you're not, some of you are not crazy over the top romantic. Some are, but you believe in the solid things. You know, you're very wise, Virgo. Um, and this person saw that in you. And I feel like they needed you to provide stability in their life, to some degree, you you were able to do that for this person and they didn't want to let you go. And I felt like, I feel like in the past, they were just going to hold on to you no matter what, or always keep coming back to you or reach out or connect with you in a lot of ways. But, you know, that's just the energy of that person in the past. Now, the present energy is, um, hmm, page of pentacles. We have a lot of pentacles here the queen of pentacles right in the center right now virgo since you're sitting here and they're reading right in the center you're on their mind like you're just like the first thought right now in their mind and i don't know if you guys are together or not um but you are the it feels i'm just hearing like the center of their world let's take a look with the okay calling in your soulmate so i feel like this person so this card, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So you might not be together with this person right now, okay? Um, your love life is being affected by children. This person, it feels mostly like on their end, children are playing a huge role in their life at this time in any way, however that resonates for you. Or it's this person... Um, their love life is affected by their childish ways. Okay. Um, so the Page of Pentacles is here, and this tells me 
there's something like some news coming in from this person there's some type of communication um, they're on their phone and you're on a laptop I just heard that like they either call you or they text you or there's an email or something from their phone and you receive it like on a laptop or an iPad or something whatever you might be on all right let's take a look at this page of Pentacles what is this why is this page of Pentacles here what can we find out here hmm for some they they might be communicating with you um, they've been they had if you haven't spoken it could be that they've got a new job or they've been focusing on their business or doing something creative or something that's going on trying to make some money this could be receiving money or it's something to do with money news let's take a look okay three of cups hmm well they're definitely out there networking um, communicating with others if it's a male there could be a lot of communication with other females um, but it could be sisters it could be friends um, but it's kind of like I don't feel like it's like a third party thing going on it just feels like celebration with friends male or female it doesn't matter it could be communication about some stuff that they're doing with friends um, that they're gonna make money doing this okay um, some type of celebrations or they have like a circle of support okay um, so I do feel like they could be calling or something along those lines let's take a look at Queen of Pentacles oh with the High Priestess and the Four of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles again another big uh, opportunity and offer of some sort presenting itself um, it's interesting to me you're in kind of this mysterious mode this is how they're viewing you you're quiet and that might be why there's a reach out but they're looking at you or sensing that you are withdrawn you are holding on keeping some secrets you're you're going within you're being very mysterious that's what they're they're noticing okay this mysteriousness about you and I feel like your person is wondering why you haven't been offering your love or something's going on or reaching out with that big ace of cups there um, you know I also kind of feel like um, give me a second here yeah they're gonna you know there's some kind of surprise gift or something or some type of um, offer it kind of feels to me like um, you were giving your love by way of support or helping this person whether it was financially mentally emotionally physically spiritually whatever um, and this person's kind of in like this really down spot right now and I think it's because if you're not communicating with them or you just withdrew your energy they're kind of feeling that but there's also you know uh, they're stabilized in this avoidance pattern but there's also this contemplation I feel like that's going on they, they don't they're not feeling happy you know um, they, they miss the the giving that you were giving to this person I feel like you withdrew okay and it kind of feels to me with this ace of Pentacles that this person is going to try to um, invest in some way but but I feel like it's because they need that stability back from you again and I feel like some of you I don't know if you are I don't I don't know what your situation here I'm gonna actually pull a card to see where like where you are 
you know, what's going on? Because I feel like your person intuitively is picking up that you are withdrawn and that you are kind of like in that high priestess mode, like you're not saying anything. All right, what is, what? I just want to see what's going on with you, Virgo, at this time. What is going on with you? Okay, <laughs> you've got the death card, Virgo. It looks like you are transforming your life and ending letting go of the past okay you're making really big changes in your life at this time um, you're moving on and they this person senses it now with the high priestess it can be virgo pisces cancer and then death card would be scorpio energy but i feel like your your person senses that you're 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 moving on yeah, look at this. Five of Pentacles. You might be moving on because for some reason you might feel a sense of loss here. Or um, the five, five is tough. Five is about change and a lot of uncertainty um, and inconsistency. You might feel like you need your freedom. Um, and you, you might be in this position here where you just feel like it's time for a change. And I feel like this is just specific for you guys. This is what's going on. You're changing things in your life. Maybe your physical self, your mental thought process, your where you live, <laughs> you know, um, changing your job. You might be feeling left out in the cold, uh, feeling kind of ill. Maybe there's worry, a sense like it could be a, a poverty mindset or a financial loss for some of you but you're making like you're realigning things in your life here so I'd feel like they're sensing that that you're just moving on perhaps or just pulling away for now and I feel like that will instigate some kind of a call or communication um, because I kind of feel like for some of you did not leave the relationship but your person there's no real love. Now, they might even communicate with you, for some of you, that they w would like to have some kind of reunion with you as well, with that cup energy, you know, but it's the three. And then it goes to the four. I feel like you're not going to respond. <laughs> and that might be why this person is feeling down and a bit unfulfilled, because perhaps... They missed their golden opportunity with you. Now, I don't know if that will resonate for all of you, but it, it kind of feels like they're going to try to reconnect with you again. Now, let's take a look at the future energy. Okay, heart-to-heart -heart conversation. This could be the one. All right. So they may reach out to you, and as I was saying, you may not respond to this person because not out of hatred or maybe, I don't know exactly what it is, but... When the Hierophant is here, um, I'm sorry, the High Priestess. Um, high Priestess is like going within, trusting herself. Um, she's being not mysterious on purpose, not playing any games. She's just quiet. She's not saying anything. So going forward, you know, if this person reaches out, um, I feel like they're going to be waiting waiting for you to either make some kind of a choice or make some travel plans or wait to hear back um, because they're standing at the crossroads here not sure what to do um, and they also will be needing to make a decision okay also this knight of swords is here this is about travel but I feel like, Virgo, they do, this person does feel like you are the one for them. Um, and they do want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Now, your heart conversation might be different than theirs. But there is something, some truth they want to tell you. I feel like they'll give you a little. But sometimes this is the breadcrumb card for me. You see? So I feel like this person will, they will reciprocate and share some things with you going forward. If you talk to them or if you respond to them. But it looks to me like in the, the current energy is that your mouth is shut and you are hush-hush. 
for some reason. Let's get, let me get a clarifying card for the High Priestess. Oh, look. Oh my goodness. You have the Nine of Wands. Walls are up. You are blocking 100% any kind of communication. You're blocking um, response, right? Um, or delaying it. So this feels to me like you're just putting up some really strong boundaries with this person. Um, this nine, nine is about transition. It's also about service. And it looks to me like you're blocking any kind of service that you've been giving to this person in the past. Maybe some of you were paying their bills or just, you know, doing everything. And this person was just not really contributing to the connection in the past. So three cards, please, for two of wands. Hmm. Knight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, look at all these Pentacles, right? So um, they'll give it time. They're going to be patient to wait here to wait and hear back from you going forward. Maybe some of you will respond. Some of you might not want to, or you might not be ready to, or you might not know what to say at this point. You might just be withdrawn and trying to sort things out in your mind at this time and just taking a breather, okay? But it feels like, you know, first of all, this person going forward in the future is completely single. Um... And I do feel like either they want to connect with you or see you or visit um, or just, you know, take an Uber <laughs> or drive over to your house. Um, or have you connect with them. But I just kind of get a sense with, you know, the Page of Pentacles is here again. It's all this pentacle energy just feels, I don't feel, I, I, I see reunion here with the three of cups, which means more of a celebratory thing, but I'm not really picking up like that this, that they are trying to have this love thing here with you. It feels like a friend thing. They, this person with the Six of Pentacles really can't offer you all that much. And maybe you know that, Virgo. Like, maybe you're like, wow. You know, maybe, you've, maybe you're coming to terms with that, like, in your own mind or sorting things out. But um, it feels to me like uh, there's, they're going to keep trying to, you know, invest in some way or communicate that they want to, like, in some way about investing in the, but it feels like friendship. It just feels like more or less friendship. And maybe you guys were together in the past. Maybe you were married or in a deep relationship and you you split up and this person wanted to maintain friendship and you maybe you did and then finally you just decided you didn't want that anymore and you pulled away. Um, for others because there is you're making some kind of changes in your life here you you feel a sense of like like coldness like you're like you're suffering in some way you're struggling to keep the faith you're seeking fulfillment in your life virgo let's take a look at the love messages here what other love messages are from your person I pretend you don't mean that much. Sometimes I hear your voice in my head. Oh boy, I understand you better now. I took the easy way out. Okay, well, I mean, are they coming to some kind of terms with something? Maybe. But for you, Virgo, I don't know where you're at here. I feel like you maybe you're taking some time out, um, dating other people making changes in your life, focusing more on like your single life because the Nine of Pentacles is here and this is a card about being single, being successful and independent. I don't feel like your person, like I, I kind of feel like they like that, but at the same time, they don't, this person, they want you to be with them. But I also feel like 
they they know that like you are a catch here and you will they know that it doesn't i don't know that it's a threat i don't feel like it's a threat but i do know the knight of swords is very assertive energy and this is like running after you because virgo maybe you are doing very well and you don't maybe i feel like they sense that you're leaving them and that you are um going your you're going to live your single life and be happy I want to tell you so many things. Boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now. This is this is what I feel like you're doing here. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. Virgo, I feel like these are your messages, like you're letting go of the past, you're forgiving, you're saying, ah, oh, just good luck with everything, and you're putting up some very firm boundaries. You know, some of you, this could have been something that happened in your past and now you're just coming to terms with a lot of things you don't know how hard it was to let you go virgo that feels like you i feel like it was really hard for you to let this person go um but you're doing something new in your life here or you will be and you've got leap of faith it's safe to make this move that you're considering so if you're changing things or you're meeting others or somebody else maybe you've met somebody else it's you can do this that this is what the message is that i'm getting here and interference if you're trying to move on with your life virgo the interference is this person not being willing to let you go okay um if you have a new relationship or you're trying to seek one out or start a new relationship with someone that's it now for others there could be that this person just has other things in their life could be children. I hate to refer to children as a third part, an external party, but in a romantic relationship, they are external to the relationship. Could be they have children that are interfering, or um, maybe it's you have children that um, you are trying to secure a relationship that's healthy, maybe set an example for your children, or um, maybe you want to have children, okay? um and somebody doesn't so there's a lot of like i feel conflicting energy with you and this person all right let's get the charms oh wow so you've got a uh, money bill 100 okay so this is your focus right now virgo some of you might be looking at a hundred dollar bill um or you know whatever it is in the country you are like a you know high priced um but I kind of feel like uh, you're, you know, you're in your, definitely in your pinnacle energy. Like you are either building your business or you've hit some kind of money or you will hit some big money soon. Um, there's an element here of um, just another message is that you're one in a million, Virgo. Don't forget that. I feel like your person knows that, but don't forget that. And then you've got a Tyrannosaurus Rex here. Maybe somebody's connecting with somebody by the name of Rex. Or there's something to do with dinosaurs. I don't know. Maybe somebody here is as old as a dinosaur. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, or you were dating someone. For some of you, could have been dating someone who was way, way older than you. Could have This could have been like a sugar daddy kind of thing, right? But maybe if that was your situation or a sugar mama, that, that was not fulfilling for you anymore. And you are, some of you are just transitioning, changing your life, doing something different. Um, but this dinosaur, I'm not really sure. Maybe somebody has children that have dinosaurs or there's um there could be like you're like I, I saw the other day um a pattern uh something that had dinosaur on it and like a fabric or something so i just that just came out of nowhere let me get a couple more charms for you guys okay oh we have a train and a camera oh my goodness this is instagram right here something to do instagram seems to be very important right now i feel like or you're a photographer amateur professional or you're taking pictures or you're being photographed okay maybe you are posting if you have social media photographs up there or you are fiddling with the camera right now 
Okay, could be listening to this and taking some selfies. And then there's also um, a choo-choo train here. Hmm, I forget what they call these trains where they have the big scooper on the front. Um, that's kind of like your energy. You're just pushing stuff out of the way right now. But there could be travel by train, um, or there was. Okay, um, hmm, I just heard the train of a wedding gown. I don't know what that means. The train of a wedding gown, maybe. I don't know what that means. Um, but this is like an old locomotive. So um, train, train tracks, you're near an old train station or locomotive or looking at, or somebody had um, toy electric trains or something around the holidays. There's something very interesting. I just feel like they just said get one more. Tell them one more thing. Okay, blessed. Beautiful. That's from your angels, Virgo. You are blessed. Don't forget that. You are amazing. You are worthy. You are valuable. You are handsome and beautiful. You are truly blessed. And you deserve the best. And I hope that that's where you are right now in your life. And you're seeing that stuff about yourself and um, that you deserve true love, right? Especially if you were in a financial relationship with someone, some of you may just be like coming to terms with you want more. Maybe you got your money and now you're going. I don't know. So I'm going to leave your message there, Virgo. I hope that you enjoyed that. And um, don't forget to join me on um, my Moon Pie Tarot channel Saturday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be going live as I do there every Saturday where you can pop in and for $20, I'll pull three cards for you and you can ask any question. So it's a mini reading. All right, you guys. So, all right, please do hit the subscribe and like button on the way out and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.